Good evening from the air, an iconic view of one of this country's great cities as we're back on the road tonight from along the Embarcadero in San Francisco. But we start in the Northeast where fighter jets were scrambled into the skies this afternoon after a sophisticated U.S. Army blimp broke loose from its mooring in Maryland and drifted dangerously into civilian airspace. Trailing its mile-long steel tether, the unmanned rogue blimp left a trail of damage across parts of Pennsylvania and knocked out power to thousands before it was brought to the ground. NBC's Tom Costello followed the drama and has full details for us. In the sky over Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania this afternoon, a top-secret runaway military balloon known as an aerostat. After a hot pursuit involving fighter jets, state police, and citizens who called in updates, Zachary Boyd watched it drift by his classroom at school. I look out the window, and this big white thing just starts going over the softball field. On the ground behind the balloon, a trail of destruction caused by a mile-long tether that took out utility lines, leaving at least 25,000 people in the dark. Here we we are no power after the blimp has knocked out all the power in Bloomsburg. The balloon is called a J lens. Filled with helium, it's loaded with highly sophisticated and secret tracking equipment. It managed to float 115 miles from Aberdeen, Maryland to central Pennsylvania. Part of a pilot program, the military had two of them moored in Aberdeen, Maryland, hovering at 10,000 feet, scanning the skies. So, this is part of a new military radar system that's supposed to detect cruise missiles, fast-flying, low-flying cruise missiles, probably from Russian aircraft. But this morning, one of the two balloons broke free, floating up to 16,000 feet and posing a risk to passenger planes in the skies. NORAD scrambled F-16s as air traffic control diverted nearby aircraft. Finally, after three hours, the aerostat lost altitude and skipped along the Pennsylvania countryside, coming to rest in Anthony Township, PA. At $2.5 billion, the project has been controversial. Privacy advocates Advocates concerned about its ability to collect data and members of Congress concerned about the cost. Now with the J-Lens lying in a Pennsylvania field, the balloon's future may be further in doubt. The military dispatched a security team in helicopters to secure the site. We're told the tether holding the balloon to the ground was supposed to be strong enough to withstand winds of up to 100 miles per hour. At the time it broke free, the winds were about 45 miles per hour at altitude. Property owners who suffered damage are tonight being told they can submit a claim to the Army. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.